I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. No, no one in there is locked off. Casa is for the downfall of the boys. Trust me, she's cheating in Casa. I think he's worse than Hugo. Welcome back to another episode of Fancy a Chat. Make sure you're supporting the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music. Also, hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the episodes. Yo, guys, we're back with another episode of Fancy a Chat, and it's Love Island 2023, and I've got my first Islander from that series, and who better than the first person to leave, George... What's going on, mate? How are you? How you doing? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? How are you doing, bro? Mate, I'm good, mate. Thanks for having me on here. It's been, a fan, been a fan of this for ages. Have you mate. actually? Yeah, I have, mate. Yeah. No way. What, so you've been watching? Mate, I've always been watching, mate. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I need to get on the off podcast, mate. Say me peace. <laughs> yeah, love it. In, love mate. it, man. But, like, it's, like, a sad time because, obviously, you're the first person to leave. Like, no one wants to be the first person to leave Love mate. Island. You know what I mean? Like... It's the it's like the worst nightmare. But how how are you like in the sense of that like leaving? Yeah, mate. So obviously left the villa, left by myself, which is obviously not what I yeah. wanted. Um, made some good connections in there on a friendship level, but obviously yeah. it's not friend island as we know. <laughs> um, yeah, there wasn't any bombshells in there for me to crack <laughs> on with, mate. But exactly. but yeah, I mean, obviously like leaving there was just really unfortunate because I felt like I didn't really have an opportunity to actually f- like, have a graft going. opportunity in graft. Yeah. Like there was all the jokes and that, but there was no actual graft, and I was willing to give that up. But it just it just wasn't meant to be. Just mate. didn't get didn't get enough time and like That's the people I mean. around you. Like it really and truly, Love Island depends on like who's around you, Literally. because That's someone has to like yeah. give you a chance to graft. That's what I'm saying. And you didn't get that chance. I just didn't get graft. that chance, mate. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't get that chance. <laughs> you just Bullshit, come in part mate. two, That's or, what I'm or you could just graft on these streets of London. What me and Casa Amor, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would go back. Yeah, hundred percent. A hundred percent. Fair enough. They've done weirder things, haven't they? <laughs> okay, so let's go before Love Island. So, like, give me George before this summer. Like, how was you? Like, what was what made you tick? What did you do? What um, what was your day to day life? Yeah, so so obviously working um, working in Milton Keynes, doing my yeah. doing my sales role, heavy into the gym and stuff. I mean, I've always wanted to go on Love Island. Is it? So like, it's always from when. Literally, so I watched the first season back in 2016. Oh, and I yeah. always thought that'd be crazy to go on. Yeah, but I've always been in and out of relationships and stuff, so oh, I've never yeah. really thought about it. See that. Oh, um, so like yeah, summer I can't go on. Yeah, no, oh, fuck's sake, God, get me on there. <laughs> but yeah, like, 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 really and truly, literally, just, just smashing the gym and that. Just sort of all my mates, be like, look, you should, you should crack on for the show. And really, yeah, just going yeah. on holidays and that. Really. So, so, so like. That goes into the next thing. Like, was you approached? Was you? Did you apply? So I actually applied. You for applied. The show. I actually applied. I applied for the as show. well. To be fair, did yeah, you? Yeah. A, lo- a lot of people say oh, I got approached, yeah. but no, how many people are actually telling the truth? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But yeah. So how did how did that go? So like, cool. So you sat down. What do you know? What month it was? Um, it was so yeah. So I actually applied in January. In January. So the, literally the applications just came out in yeah. January. And he was like, oh, and so the winter one just finished. The winter one just finished. Just finished. And then I applied in January, and then my journey actually started in February, mate. So that's when it started with all that's like the mad. first um when I sent my sixty second VT. In. How was that? Oh, so cringe. <laughs> you know what it <laughs> is? I, I don't mind having a Zoom call with someone or a face to face, but it's when you're talking to yourself, it's a little yeah. bit awkward. And you have to look it back and be like. Yeah. Do I send this to yeah. uh, so, oh, you know, oh, oh no, leave it out. But yeah, literally, so the journey started in February. So it's been literally like such a long process. But yeah. I've, I've actually loved all of it. To be Is fair. it? Yeah. That's sick. So when, like, when, when did you think like, oh, I'm, I'm going on now? Like, you know, you get yeah. an inkling. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah. So obviously the thing is like, so from February till about, um, mid May I was I didn't want to I didn't want to bank on it just yeah. because and then basically I, I I went on my secondment from work at the start of May and it mm. that's when it all started yeah so like when it got to about the 15th like I, I knew it was pretty certain because I hadn't had a note yet in it yeah like and then yeah I got the call basically flying out and then it was like you four was, days and I was in Yorker. I was literally <laughs> so gassed I was in the gym for like three hours <laughs> all four days like literally double bicep curls <laughs> but yeah honestly like I started jumping about my roommate like just because it's one of the ones I've always wanted to go on it so. yeah exactly and then now it's like dreams of reality in it it's like all like, oh, right you're yeah. flying out so like what was like your type, like you were saying to them, because they one thing about Love Island is that they always say, "What's your type? What's your type? Oh. What's this? What's that? What do you feel?" Like, what was you saying to them? Like, she type on paper. I think. Yeah. I think originally, like, I went in them with the mentality of I don't have a type. Yeah, but I think, I think like, everyone, everyone everyone has says a that. That's like kind of like a. Yeah. I say it as well, but I feel like I really don't actually, really truly. But I mean, like, 
You mean looks wise? Yeah, like what is what are you drawn to more than other types? If I see a short blondie out in a night out, like a little petite blonde, that'll catch your eye. Out, like you have to yes. double check. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. To be fair, I have gone brunette. Yeah, of course. I mean? Like everyone Don't discriminate, goes, mate. <laughs> just, everyone goes everywhere. Yeah. So, but yeah, like like little like short blondie. Do you know what I mean? Like a nice yeah. little nice little body. But I mean, really, I'm just looking for someone to match the match the energy and the banter. That is that's the big key. It's quite hard. Like past the looks, just like because in Love Island, everyone is good looking. So that's that's yeah. that's another big problem. Like, everyone's good looking, so it's more yes. on a deeper level. Yes. Like on a personality level, who do you chat? Who can you sit there for like an hour and t- and talk to? Because Mate, them days are long. They're long Mate, days. It's like, thing is, I, I was asking people, like, how are you? Like, three, four, like, times <laughs> in the morning. Like, I've literally just spoke to, say, like, Medi or something. He goes, you've already asked me how I am. <laughs> but, but the thing is, it's one of them ones where, like, you don't really know yeah. what else to say. Yeah, exactly. there's, there's no break from anything. Like, so. if you haven't got, like, a challenge or anything on that day, oh. like, you're just sitting there and just, like, really just chilling That's and just, not doing anything. You are yeah. just chilling for the most exactly. part. Exactly. So, it? it's, a, it's a bit boring. Especially if, like... Unfortunately, if you don't have a connection, like oh, then yeah, you're just especially. you're sitting there and you're like, yeah. what do you do? I chat yeah. to now. You're then? like, who should I actually go up to? Like, <laughs> should I try and grab someone at random, like. <laughs> oh, okay. So, talk me through your process of like going into the villa. So, give me like from flying out to the day you stepped in. Give me like the whole the whole gossip, the quarantine, oh. your chaperone. The lot. Everything, yeah. The lot. Right, cool. So, get picked up from my house at four o'clock in the afternoon by... Oh, you went um, Yeah, I got four o'clock oh, in the okay. afternoon. I know a got lot of people pick- that got an early flight. You got an Mate, early got picked flight, up okay. by a little cheeky Addison Lee. <laughs> took me to Stan- took me to Stansted Airport, met my chaperone. Wait, you went to Stansted, but you're in... You are you live in MK? No, I live in... Be- yeah, Bedford, near yeah. Milton Keynes. So, like, I mean, Luton or Stansted... It's all right. Oh, I mean, it? yeah, like I mean, either it just depends on the traffic. Okay, They're pretty much the same enough, difference. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was far for you. Yeah, I, know. I mean, to be fair, Stan, Stan is not Stan is not too bad. Okay. But yeah, I met him there. He's sound. Shout out, Ollie. <laughs> Shout out, Ollie. Um, obviously went to Weatherspoons. Obviously had a yeah. couple of Coronas. <laughs> Cheeky. I was there. Yeah. Fair enough. We actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but we were close to missing our flight. Oh, was it? Was you? Cl- no way. Yeah. So basically, I imagine that. Oh, they would have went mental. So Ryanair sent. You know when you've got the notifications on, like your flight is now boarding. Yeah. Your gate's going to close. Um, we got the text that our gate's going to close in ten minutes, and our gate was on the other side of the airport. So and we had to in, get the shuttle spoons. train and ruin spoons. And <laughs> so obviously, I net my pint first. <laughs> of course. Um, and yeah, we had to run. So we almost missed the flight, mate. Oh my days. And it's that Ryanair was... as well. So like, yeah, they were not letting us on, bro. That would have been gone. You would have sat in the airport trying to call the producers. Oh, yeah, I've missed the flight. I'm sorry, I've actually missed the flight. Like, Your chaperone would have got in trouble. It oh my. It wouldn't have even been my fault. So. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Bless. You're the, you're the guest. So um, yeah, so you've just yes. made the flight. Just made the flight. Got on. That was all sound. Quick over to Mallorca. Mm-hmm. Landed in Mallorca Airport, trekked across that long ass airport, mate. <laughs> got our cases and then basically got in the private taxi up to our private villa. Yeah. Now oh, you went straight to the villa. No, the private one before the quarantine one. Oh, wait, you went to yeah, yeah, the yeah. I mean yeah. the quarantine villa. Okay. In my case, we went to the, like a HQ. Did Dro- you? Yeah, I went HQ like oh. a little headquarter place. Dropped off my phone and stuff, and then went to the private villa. So you man, you, you still went to the villa with your phone and oh all of yeah. That as well? So so what I did so basically in the in the hour long taxi ride from yeah. Mallorca Airport to where a holding villa was, which was long, it was so late what as well. It? I basically oh, had I to give my phone to the chaperone in the taxi. Oh, in the taxi. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. And then the next day we woke up basically, mm. got there to the villa bare late. Literally, both, we both knocked out all food supplies in there for us. Yeah. Um, and then the next day we got basically a taxi up to near where the actual villa location is. Yeah. So they've got a medic site like near it. So that's where we've done a COVID test. Mm. They weighed out my protein powder yeah. for each day. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. I, I normally just double scoop it <laughs> twice a day, bro. Like, <laughs> they I'm do that. They have to make it. sure that you get that amount isn't of protein. It? Like, exactly right, that it? amount. But yeah, like it was there where I gave them my AirPods, my phone, my charger, like my everything, Apple Watch, everything. Yeah. Like, um, But yeah, like it wasn't like your case where it's the same day. That's, that's yeah, Maybe what. because you had a night time in it. So maybe they just wanted to get you to bed. True, but it, yeah, you're you're in a, you're in a quarantine villa. You got your food supply. Oh, you, food supplies. Can you cook? Yeah, man. Oh, I can't. I couldn't cook. So my chaperone was. To be fair though, either. like my chaperone was chefing up, man. Was he? He went to oh, uni, see, so yeah, he was exactly. a proper uni student. So we were like, we would we were cooking together every night, and it like, yeah. it actually like it makes me realise like I'm actually so grateful that I got on well with him because if you don't, it's nine days, and that is, that could be peak, you know. I always said that as well. Like, imagine not liking your chaperone. Like, you it would be it would be basically hell. 
He brought his P4, which was good. So Did he? Played, like, FIFA, no card. way. Yeah, he brought his P4. Oh my god! I mean, if this guy's out and it gets you in trouble, you sorry, had the Ollie, best mate. chaperone ever. Now, honestly, Ollie's Ollie's a legend. He obviously brought his fire stick. Banging FIFA. Yeah, he brought, we were banging FIFA. That's unreal. Um, obviously, because in Spain, I don't know what it was this year, but the weather was like booky. Was it? Like it was cloudy and rainy for better oh. the days. So yeah, we're lucky we, he brought his P4, so we we're able to bang FIFA, yeah. watch Netflix and stuff. Like we're banging like four seasons of The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, it as was, you do it was, to be fair, it you have to, you have to get a series. Yeah, it was weird without my phone though, but I quite liked it. It's a good detox, isn't it? It's nice, man. Yeah, it is really good. Like this is your chance to like you guys need to go on holiday. Just leave your phone in Trust. the UK. It'll be it'll be unreal. It'll be unreal. But yeah, so you've done that um, and it's come up to the days of you, the big day, you know, the big day. Mate. What was you feeling? The night before I went in the villa, I genuinely couldn't sleep. Is it? I was Excitement. I was so excited. I was nervous. Um, obviously, <laughs> other bits. like there was, there, was, there was so much that was riding <laughs> on it. And obviously, literally, all I had with me, because all my cases had already been took to the villa beforehand. Yeah. Was that the same with you? Uh, they take your we had it on the day. Oh, right. They took it literally an hour before. It's last minute. Yeah, exactly, honestly. But yeah, so like literally all I had with me was my wide trainers, my <laughs> trunks, and like a t-shirt just to whack on to the thing. Yeah. Uh, and all my products that I needed in the morning. But yeah, like everything was laid out in the bed like you're going on a school yeah, trip. But then once so you wake up in the morning, you see it, you're like, oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get dressed now. And I'm Bro, waiting. Literally, we woke up at, I woke up at like seven in the morning, just got showered, got ready. I think we got picked up at about 11 in the morning. Yeah. So obviously all the girls get picked up way earlier because it takes them about nine hours to do the hair and makeup. As they do, yeah. Um, but yeah, literally it was like another 25 minutes in our taxi from our holding villa to the main villa. Oh, that's all right then. So, but like thinking about it, like that's that's how like the, the airport's here, like the Love Island Villas, like the other side of the island. Because you guys are in a different villa, that's why. Yes. From, my, from my villa where it wasn't that long. So... To be fair, it's like, think. yeah. I, I just think also. as the show gets more popular, they've got to just move it further and further away, in it? Yeah, I think they've got to freshen it up as well, to be fair. Like a new villa is different vibes, you know what I mean? People want to see something different. That's what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, literally that day, I was so nervous, but excited. So you walked in, like when you walked in, you walked into the case of like, you walked in, you're seeing Mitch standing there, yeah, yeah. Jess standing there, Molly standing there, Ruchi standing there, innit? Yeah, so... So how are you feeling like there? Because you see a guy there, you're like, what? Bro, I was thinking, what the hell's going on? Because normally it's like all the girls lined up and then they step forward if you fancy Exactly. You. But I think maybe because we're in 2023 now, they want to try and not hurt people's feelings, that sort of vibe, mm. I think. I yeah. don't know if that's the case. But anyway, it's a different twist and I was like, I would have been so. Confused. I didn't know his name at the point, but like, yeah. I was like, "What the hell is Mitch doing here?" Like, <laughs> yeah, so like red shorts doing there. So like, who's this guy? Like, is he the lifeguard for the for the villa? Um, but yeah, like it was a different thing. Obviously, walking up, seeing Maya, boy. Um, but yeah, literally, it was just it was just mad. Mm. It's weird, like when you see it on TV, there all the music and stuff. It's weird walking and it's yeah. silent. Yeah, it's like, I can't explain it. Really. So when you walked it, like in my case, I don't, I don't know if it's just me in the world. I don't know, but when I walked in, like. I can't explain that feeling of how I walked in. Like, I feel like everything Mate. was so much that I got overwhelmed that I couldn't actually like see straight. Like, <laughs> personally, I think it's a pitch black moment. Like, I don't know what happened. I Yeah. Is it one of the ones where, where you try and close your eyes and remember it, but you just can't? Yeah, yeah. cannot. Same. I literally, <laughs> but all I remember is I walked in like, bit of, like with quite a bit of confidence. Yeah. And I think that's the main thing, really. Yeah, fact like, it just is. Don't trip over and you're all good. <laughs> And then, so now Maya's telling you, um, you got a couple already and you're thinking. Yeah, I'm think my first thought was, okay, they've put a spin on it again this year. Oh yeah, because Where... you watched it before in it, you've seen that. Yeah, I've seen how yeah. they've done it. I know, I think as I know Love Island switched things up quite a lot and I'm thinking, right, what's going on here? Yeah. I, I did think in my head it must be a public vote. Yeah. But I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah. So then they say, you're with Jess. Yeah, yeah. So obviously what look. what are you thinking? So obviously, yeah, like it's it, it's been about like Instagram and that. that like when basically I was put with Jess, like yeah. I, I didn't, I wasn't that excited because <laughs> like Maya was like, "How are you feeling?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it's good." Like, but like I just didn't expect that twist. Mm. I think it just caught me off guard. That's all it was. Yeah, but to be fair, like I I probably would have picked her anyway. Do you think? That. Yeah, with the current girls in there at that time with yeah. over Molly. Because Molly, Molly wasn't in there when I walked in. Oh, she not? No, okay. so like literally, yeah. like it was, obviously yeah. it was only literally Ella, oh, yeah, Ruchi, Ella, and yeah. Jess. So I would, I would have you picked, picked Jess, Jess anyway. anyway. Yeah. Okay. So now, in fact, we'll get onto that later. We'll get onto later. But juicy. Even we need to go all the way, not all the way back, but briefly back. 
we can't adjust. We need to adjust the elephant in the room where before you went in, you had comments resurfacing. Yeah. And ITV told you told you that before before you went in because I, I yeah. read an article and it said something about like them telling you before you went in. So how how did that come about? Like what what so as in sort of how how do the comments resurface or no? Like... How did like you're in the villa? What the holding villa? Oh, yeah. yeah. How did that come about? Like yeah. So so basically, a couple of the execs came to me in the holding villa and yeah. um, was basically like, you know, was there anything that you didn't let us know about on your application or, or when, when you met us? And I was like, I was pretty open to you guys basically, like. Mm. before I went in about my ex situation. Yeah. Um obviously the the comments that I made, you know, I, I actually didn't even know that that I said those to be fair. Yeah. But obviously I I addressed that to the press basically and just gave an apology. Because obviously yeah. it doesn't that's not who I am today basically. Um so yeah I, I luckily when, when were the when were the comments? Um so that it was I think it was in like two thousand and fourteen or two thousand and fourteen. How old is you then like I think 15, I think I was literally 14. fifteen or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But basically, what 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 was good was because I was in the holding villa and not the main villa, yeah. it gave me an opportunity to actually address yeah. address some bits because I wouldn't. I don't think they would be able to tell no, you if you was in the main villa. They literally yeah. wouldn't be able to tell you, and then you'd and actually, do you know what? I'm in some ways I'm glad it happened when it did because if I'd have came out yeah. and I wasn't able at to least aware it. of it or able oh, to yeah. address it, I would have. I probably would have felt like proper shit about it. To be fair, yeah. but because I was able to give my side of the story, mm-hmm. give my opinion, like, give my apologies. I feel like that's actually what made me feel better going in. Yeah. Villa, basically, because I was yeah. able to say my piece and what my side of the story is. Yeah. Um, on That's the one comments resurfacing. You briefly said about the X's thing. Two yeah. X's come out. Two X's. Not even out. one, two. Two, yeah, I know. This, what? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> What's going on, George? I know, I know, I know. What's going on? Um, yeah, so so obviously, yeah, so the relationship ended um, yeah. back end of back end of last year. Mm-hmm. Um, I I just wasn't feeling the relationship. If I'm just being completely honest with you, mm-hmm. um, she's obviously posted a TikTok back in December last year. So it was actually posted. Back yeah, in, it was actually already posted back in, yeah. back in 2020. Um, from my knowledge, the video got deleted back in March. Yeah, um, I've obviously then gone live oh george is entering the oh, villa this and the yeah. other she's then reposted it and it's then gone absolutely viral yeah the, obviously the first the, my, my latest ex-girlfriend it's gone absolutely viral it did go viral out of all of the islanders i think you was the main topic at that first bit of everyone getting yeah and the thing is like it's it, it's one of them ones where because i haven't got my phone i've respond. been told about it by the execs yeah but it's almost like like right okay like what's then they sort of leave and i'm like don't go mate like yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Don't go. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on so obviously at that moment i'm like for about half an hour i'm just sort of sat there like Fuck, with your own thoughts and stuff what's as going well. on but actually after half an hour passed i thought do you know what i didn't do anything wrong like, yeah. I, i've got nothing to be sorry for like mm-hmm. but it still gave me an opportunity to be able to speak to the press and address my side of the story yeah. which i was really grateful that i was actually able to do you know yeah really grateful that i was able to do that yeah okay and obviously the latest the latest decks as well and oh, no sorry the first ex. yeah so that was a missus i had six years ago like was it six years ago six years ago yeah and 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 obviously she came out um saying what she said and i just it's just yeah i just it seems like as though <sighs> like what i was looking at it was like both of them came together and almost like compared their stories and like came to the same conclusion and they were like oh like attacked you as this 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 yeah. Which is like unfortunate. How, how do you like feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I think that's I think that's pretty unfortunate to be honest with you because that's not actually who I am. Yeah. And I'm actually more gutted that I didn't get a longer chance in the villa to be honest with you because I would have been able to actually then prove, you know, my actions always speak louder than words, mate. So like, I would have been able to prove that that is actually not me. Um, do you think that impacted you into the, in the villa? Like, it, it, do you think that kind of like put a chip on your shoulder in a way yeah I mean yeah I, I, I can't deny it was it's always going to be in the back of your head something like that and mm. um, I feel like it didn't it didn't help like, like almost yeah. like a rattler before you go in yeah like, like it, it, it definitely spun me like it definitely worked yeah. Um, so yeah it, it definitely spun me a little bit which is unfortunate but but yeah like I'm just glad I was able to address it but yeah yeah Bit it's a tough su- it's a tough subject that it's a tough subject it's always a tough one mate. now on more of a brighter note your time in the villa. One question. Would you rather the way you went in with the public choosing 
like how you couple up or would you rather the traditional like girls stepping forward and then you get to pick them I would I would rather the traditional mate Is because it? actually with the public I mean either way the recoupling is going to happen when the recoupling is going to happen anyway so True. whether you get in on or not regardless yeah. but I feel like just because the public do it it's almost like you're forced it's you like think, you're just you sort of forced that? rather than I was kind than... of thinking the, the, the opposite like nah. you're not forced because you didn't choose it you know what I mean I suppose if, if anyone wants to step forward so obviously just step forward for me it doesn't like it doesn't sort of affect me as much for for example you know like mm. it's like an ego thing yeah. like it doesn't affect me as much because like it's like a public decision but i don't know i feel like like you'd actually go for someone that you'd want to go for sort of thing yeah i did that that's a hard one that is it is isn't it but the spe- problem is is that for example the traditional step forward is if no one steps forward for you yeah, it's peak. It's, <laughs> it basically just it makes you. It, it makes you feel like Am I about us? <laughs> Honestly, At, like, it's is like, there, is there something should wrong? I be here? Yeah. Maybe it's time to go home. Like, I think I've made a very big mistake by going to Love Island. <laughs> like, very big mistake. I'll get you though. Like, it's it, it's hard. Like, obviously, they've they've definitely switched up this year with, with the with, with the public one. But I, f- I still think I'd rather just risk, like, risk my chances, risk? mate. From personal um, experience? Go on. You wouldn't. No. It's, it's brutal being yeah. there and no one stepping forward is brutal. It is brutal. Because then you've still got to choose someone and, yeah, and exactly. you almost walk up like, oh, so hey, I'm choosing hey. you, but I yeah. don't, you know, yeah. I have to I know choose someone. You, I instantly know that you don't like things attractive, <laughs> so let's just be friends, yeah? Sweet. <laughs> exactly. It's not the best. But on to the next question is like, bombshell or starter? Because you're a starter. Everyone, like, people say they always want to be an OG, but would yeah. you have preferred maybe being a bombshell in the sense that coming in later you're saying you've got loose game yeah you could drop that I think yeah so originally I, I wanted I, I was hoping to be an OG yeah? yeah like just because of how I am personality wise yeah Um, but actually thinking about it now I would have probably preferred to be in like a bombshell like would you say early one mid one, I, I'd, one? I'd say I'd say quite early quite yeah. early yeah, like this like, time now or a little bit earlier yeah so obviously where um the guy that's going in tonight or yesterday, you know, when oh, yeah? he's going, I think this is a good time because cracks. So basically foundations yeah. are built, but cracks are starting to show a little bit, but nothing's still concrete. So it's time. No, to like no one in there is locked off. Do you think? I mean, no look, one is in there is the, locked off. Obviously the strongest, the strongest couple in there at the moment is, is obviously Ty and Ella, I think. Do you think? 100%. At the moment, they've had a bit, obviously he even said it, like they've had a bit of a rock. Yeah. They know where they're at. I think everyone has to have a little bit of a rock, though. You know what I mean? A lot of people are saying Molly and Zach are the strongest, but I don't. I, don't I can't see it working, mate. Can you not? Why? I just—they're very different people, mate. Do you know what I mean? I just—I just can't see it. I just can't see it. But they're possibly. in such a like honeymoon stage where it's like it's like a proper couple in a way that like they're not even arguing. Personality-wise, yeah, they are literally both the same, innit? Is it? Like they're both very chilled out people. Yeah. This, that, and the other, but I just, I just, I don't know where it's going. But yeah, like, who do you think will be the person to like end that in a way, like drift? I think if it doesn't happen, it will just be Casa or more. Well, I both think, of them. Just I, both I think, of them I think, off. I think personally, I feel like, I feel like Molly could have more of it because uh, do, do you remember in the Rock the Boat Challenge? Yeah. Um, I, I believe if I'm not wrong, he said he's closed off, and Molly said that she wasn't. She is. Yes. Trust that me, mate. Is very trust true. Me, she's cheating in Casa. You think? Yeah. Molly. She's gonna be dropping some loose game. <laughs> Molly. To be fair, like girls, girls cheating. It's not even cheating, but like changing their mind in Casa. It don't really happen. It's normal. It's Casa is for the downfall of the boys and I'll, I'll always stick, stick by that it's, the, it's for the downfall of the boys it's, it's, it's made for boys to mess up when you walk back in from Casa like how, 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 like how hard was your heart beating at your chest bro I was thinking like <laughs> when I walked in I was thinking oh my god I think I'm one you're back in like your home because you, you leave that so like you. oh my gosh like you're back home but then now you're stepping down and you're seeing the girls that you met like you knew like you haven't seen them for like four or five days and you're thinking, and you've got someone else in your arm, you're thinking. Oh, uh, you've not even had a chance to say, right, let's just sit down on the day bed. Like, let's talk about it as like adults. Like. And you see her standing by herself, you're thinking, ah, oh. you, you, you want the world to swallow you up. Yeah. Because everyone's looking at you now. <gasps> and then obviously, like, I think, I, think, I think Laura was like, so how do you feel? Like, and then she misses at the time, how do you feel? And they're like, 
Everyone's so shocked at it. Exactly. But. And if you've got a baddie on your left shoulder, you're like, oh, damn, man, but I've got a baddie next to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just too many baddies, <laughs> mate. <laughs> like, you can't blame, you can't blame a person. That's what I'm saying. You're only human, Toby, mate. <laughs> all of us are. You're hey, human, all man. of us are. So, like, Casa and Moore. Okay, cool. So, if we go through the couples, Casa and Moore, who do yeah. you think is, like, right now, splitting, staying? So, we got, let's go with Molly and Zach. You think Molly... Oh yeah, Going? I think yeah, I, I think I think Molly will potentially meet someone in in Casa. Yeah, yeah. and okay. Zach will stay. I'm I'm predicting that Zach will stay. Yeah, Stack, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, that's big. Okay, say Medi and Whitney. I don't think that I think they like each other. There is something there, but it's mm. way too early days, mate. I feel Do you like think they'll make it to Casa. I think I I, I don't know. Like mm. I actually don't know. Like if if any, one, if anyone's going to go anywhere, I think it's going to be Whitney. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I don't know if it's me, but I see Whitney slowly falling for him in a way that, like, because I'm, I'm he's, he's not normally her type, but yeah. I feel like as days go on, slowly, slowly, sl- yeah. she's slowly just opening up to him, and I don't think he feels her. Maybe I'm just hating because Whitney knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Honestly, <laughs> I, I do, I do get what you're saying though. It's it, they're very, they're very slow burners, isn't they? Yeah, but the fillers. I feel like Medi, what he's doing, you know, when sometimes he makes comments to Wit, like, but not in, not in like that sort of way. But like, mm. I feel like he's just trying to guard himself a little bit because think? maybe he actually likes Wit a lot more than he's letting on. Or maybe he's just trying to. Yeah, to be fair, like the way he bites back sometimes, it's like he doesn't oh, really okay. spite me as a fat boy anyway. Medi, does he? Not really, but hey, it'll be those ones that get you. This is it's, what a, I'm it's the quiet ones that get you, eh? Expect the unexpected. This is exactly, mate. you know what I mean? As Whitney said, he's just a French man chilling in Mayfair, mate. <laughs> She said it. You know? <laughs> and Mayfair's a lion's den. <laughs> exactly. So, um, who else we got? We got Ty and Ella. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, if I'm being honest, there may be... Tariq Hyde and Ella Thomas. Mate, I don't... My personal opinion is, I think they're really strong at the moment, but I don't feel they've had a real test. But... Mm-hmm. I think they really, I think they really suit each other, and I think they, I think they look good together. To be fair, they so, are. I actually, I, I actually want them to come out of that villa together. Do you think? Hundred percent. Is that, is that yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're sweet, man. They are toxic as hell. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that's what makes it funny, yeah, though. The fact that they're toxic. Isn't it's it? like a normal couple, like yeah. really and truly. Like we've never, I don't think we've seen it as toxic as this. It's a very toxic love island it's this a, year, isn't it? Like, yeah, it is. But that's what's brilliant because. I think this might be the closest season to actual real life, yeah. like couples. Like, really and truly, it's not all flowers and rainbows and chocolates. Rather, it is sometimes toxic in a relationship. Like, you throw a dig, they throw a dig back, and it's like, I hate you, but I love you. There's a fine line between the two, you know what I mean? Thing is, this joke show where Torek's like, what are you... What are you like, like, what are you looking about it for? What? And they're like, what? what, what? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, but then you've got on the other side of the spectrum, you've got Molly and Zach that are like just chilling, like yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. literally just chilling. It's, it's a really weird like really casting truly, like, thing. Them it? two are like them two couples are literally the complete opposites. opposites. Complete opposites. One right. of them so chilled, the other one's like toxic love. It's weird, <laughs> isn't it? Because like they like they look good together, like they are good together, but like you said, they are toxic together. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weird, but like I just I feel like they haven't had a proper test. Like obviously, Le- Leah came in. Ty had a bit of a chat with her, but I don't really think he was feeling that was it. Apparently, he was having a chat with Charlotte as well. Charlotte Charlotte came out and said that he flirted with her a lot as well. He must just be a flirty guy. He's, he's a flirty, he's a flirty guy, guy, guy. He's a flirty guy. You he just know drops what I mean? Games. <laughs> it's just what he does. <laughs> he drops games on a normal he's, day. He's just human, mate. But I feel like, on a personal note, like Ella is his type, mm. and he I think. Looking at him from a boy to boy perspective, I think he actually is falling for in a way. But I'm scared about him um <laughs> running away. Like yeah. I think he'll he said it but he said it before, like self sabotage. Like that's my problem. I think in Casa Moore, because he's gonna not know what she's doing, that's it's gonna, gonna bug him and he'll be like, To protect myself, I might bring someone back and like explore that actually sounds like that actually sounds like Ty that actually sounds like something you do to be fair like I'm just going to do it because I'm scared that she's going to bring someone back and you don't want to be in that position of being like oh like I gave you my heart and you just like threw it away like I'm scared I mean mean, mean, to be fair obviously like you're one of his boys, isn't it? So it's one of them ones where you've probably got that spot on in it like you know (laughs) that's what I'm just thinking off off the back of my head like 
I went through it as well, like with him. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He, time will tell, innit? That's what but I'm I saying. think Ella is a match for him, like big, like. Because obviously on the first day, yeah, like when I got there, obviously all I heard was like in the corner mirror was, "I think I know you." Like, <laughs> I, f- I think I know you, and Ty was like, "What? What do you mean?" But the thing is, like, it's one of them ones where, like, if someone's saying that I know you, she wouldn't just be saying it for the fun of it. So I was thinking, this guy's been out on a Saturday night, drops a loose game. I think game. I was with him. I think I was with him. Because uh, she was like, it was in Lux or something. I like, was with yeah. him. I was defo with was him. Like, that's the thing that's so funny. Like, what was they saying after that when they got in there? Like, yeah, so they were like, know? and so they, they basically went and sat on the day beds. And I, I was sort of, like, I was actually like, because I was speaking to Andre about it. I was like, I think these two know each other, <laughs> isn't it? Andre was like, I swear. And I, all I heard was, uh, Ty go, oh, I think you had blonde hair at the time or something, <laughs> didn't it? She was like, well, yeah. She was like, it was like, oh yeah, you still look nice though, still. Like, it was like, like that's oh. literally like you actually can't picture that, man. It was too it was fucking funny. Crease, mate. Too funny. <laughs> on to the ne- on to the next couples for Casa. We've got, um, well, to be fair, them two couples have broken up. Who is it, Mitch? Well, and- Mitch and um- Mitch and um, Leah have broken up because they can't recouple anymore. Jess and Sammy, Jess and Sammy. Up, they can't couple up as well. So, do you, what do you think happens there? Like, in them two couples? Well, obviously, these two new bombshells come in. Yeah. Um, I, f- I personally think that we'll have a dump in at the end of the week. Do you think? Yeah, t- well, two people have got to go in. It's too many people. Do you think it's going to be a couple then? I think it, it, it'll have to be a couple. A boy and a girl. Because it, there'll be just be too many men for the villa, yeah. I think. That's just thinking of it. It's just, Facts. just thinking of it as like a like room perspective. Like, But yeah, I just feel like they'll they'll basically have the chance to, to date who they want for a couple of days. Mm. Um, and basically, because they can't recouple with each other, oh, it's just, it's, they've really... Oh, they've, they've, yeah, I don't know what they've they're done. Like kind, in year. my eyes, they're kind of forcing Jess to go with Mitch. I think Mitch is forcing Jess anyway. <laughs> Please, oh. please, please pick me. <laughs> Fuck off. That's yeah. another thing we need to it's talk about, weird, man. Mitch mate, is like, like, how was he in there? Because what we're seeing, I don't know if it's like, people always say about the editing of Love Island and how they're, they're shown, but I don't think you can edit that, man. Like, what, like, the last thing that, when I look at Mitch, all I think about is him saying to Jess, dump him and get with me. Like, bro. Mate. He needs to get that printed on his bedroom wall or something. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, like, it's a bit like, mad though, isn't it? It's a bit full on. The way that I knew, obviously, because I was in there day one with Mitch, yeah. Yeah. Even on the first day, he was basically talking about Molly like that was his missus, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, really like Molly, this, that, and the other. Like, like he wouldn't even on the first day, he wouldn't even explore other girls. He was just like, Molly. and that's just what I think was a bit mad. Like, he friends on Jess bear quick. He Do you did remember that? on the first, like literally the Bro, first day, wasn't it? What are you doing? Literally like... first day. But then now he's suddenly saying, oh, I want to get to know you, Jess, like Jess. But the thing is, it's made it bait because the <laughs> thing is, Jess ain't stupid. Like she obviously knows that Mitch friend zoned him. Yeah. Even though, yeah, they were getting on well, him and Molly. But to then basically go and say, Jot, just thought, you actually, I do actually fancy you, to be fair. It was the football challenge. When yeah. you fell over, that Jot, was the moment. I was looking at your ass <laughs> in the football challenge. You look like prime Berbatov, mate. <laughs> And it's like, I just, yeah, it just, it just makes it look a little bit bait. He yes. could have done that in a different way to not make it look as bait. But I still do think that Jess actually does really like Mitch. And do you think? I, think they're, I think they're a better match than Sammy and Jess anyway. Do you think? Yeah, definitely, mate. What do you think? What do you think about Sammy? Like the Sammy-Jess situation? Because people are saying that Sammy, because he saw himself in the bottom three, obviously he was exploring it with Leah. He cut that off immediately because he was in the bottom three and Jess yeah. wasn't. I think I think to be honest with you, he was flirting with Leah. There's nothing wrong with Leah. Yeah, She's fit. I'd I'd chat to her when she comes out. Um, <laughs> I feel like the thing is he's yeah he made it really quick just to jump ship just to someone that's not in the bottom three. Yeah, and that's not Love Island, man, isn't it? Like that's just like you just want to win the show at that point. Bro. Yeah, do you think? Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, f- I feel like that's what it's come to now, isn't it? Like people yeah. just don't actually want to explore something real. It's like oh, well, she's in, she's in the bottom three. Even though we might fancy her more. That's the first like indication you get from the public like, oh, this person's doing well. Let me go for that person. Th- that's what that's all it is. Yeah. Because obviously you ain't got your phone on you, so you literally don't know who's mm-hmm. who's popular and who isn't. So you think yeah. he's like almost like a game player then? I think he I I, th- I think he's playing a game to you be You think? Fair. Yeah, I think he is. Oh, I, I think don't know, he is, man. Mate. That's my guy Sammy. I kinda like him in a way. I don't know I, why. I like him. I kinda like him and I d- Lord Farquhar, final boss, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I actually love. No, nah, I do actually love Sammy. Though. I do actually love him. But yeah, it's one of the ones where like you can't not see it as a game, though, boy or not. Yeah, yeah, true. But I think Mitch is playing the game as well. To be fair, <laughs> maybe there's a lot of people playing the games in there because Jess is kind of. I don't know. I think she's Jess, just got the cards, isn't it? She's just got people because to choose I don't now. Think, like you just magically say like, oh, 
when when she's doing like tick for tack, like because Sam you get to know Leah, you now want to say, oh, I'm gonna get to know Mitch. But I don't think she's feeling Mitch. Like I I I still stand by that. I don't think. But she's the thing is, Jess made a comment last night to Sammy like, oh, I could have dropped you this that and the other, and it's I like, like that. I don't I don't, like I don't really like them sort of, sort of comments. But yeah. then again, it's Sammy like going. Blow. But then again, Sammy going the beach out and saying, well, she's not my type. That's another um, low blow. She likes me more than I like her. So like, what's the beef, mate? <laughs> So maybe they're meant for each other maybe, maybe they're, they're just we could have the most toxic love island here guys <laughs> ever. It is. maybe you wasn't toxic enough maybe I'm just too nice <laughs> I, no, genuinely like, that's actually what a lot of people have told me like I, I'm just actually not like just I ain't got the mentality for it. Like you've just got to be a sort of somewhat of a summit on there, isn't it? Yeah, like, you got you got to be you got to be a gallus, man. Mate, a serious gallus, mate. You got I to think... die, mate. You got to die for Nash, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you think a lot of people are dying for it? Just dying for Nash, mate. You're dying for it. Um, cool. We got um, Catherine and Scott as well. Yes, Catherine and Scott. What do you <sighs> think about them two? Yeah, I just I think it's um, I don't really think they're feeling each other to be completely honest. I feel like it's I mean again it's very early days, isn't it? Yeah. I just I feel like they haven't really put anyone in there that's massively Catherine's type in there yet. How about Andre? Because you that's you that's one that's of your, boys, mate. That's one yeah. of your boys, isn't it? I feel like what's he saying now that like obviously he got dumped and now yeah. Catherine's moved to like yeah. So obviously yeah. So I, I was chatting to him last night, bless him, and he was he was because I think she made a comment last night and it she was yeah. like I think like she hadn't met her in match or yeah, something like, like haven't seen her and like my heart actually dropped for Andre, man. Like it was <sighs> one of them ones, but things move so quickly in there. It does, it? it does. Um, and it's not like people get forgotten about, but you can't help but. Have you to have just to move, move on. on. Yeah. Um, but she but did shed a tear. She did, mate. Everyone cried. I even cried, mate, at home, <laughs> mate. I was, I was gutted, mate, that you left. Um, but yeah, I feel like just with the whole sort of Catherine situation, I just I don't really know where she's at with it all at the moment. Mm. Like, it's it's <sighs> sad because she had like three options on the three. opening day. Yeah, and then now she's down to like. I don't even know if Scott Scott's kind of an option, but he's kind of lean. I think he kind of likes Leah. Like, you I, know think what I, mean? li- I think he likes Leah. Exactly. I do think he likes Leah. But I, I don't. Maybe really... Montel coming in. Maybe that's gonna. Mate, maybe Montel, that's gonna be the person. Montel said his type, his 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 types were Ella, um, Catherine, Catherine, and um, who else? Is it uh, Molly? No, not Molly. It's not Molly. Um, I think I think it was actually. Wait, no, it wasn't. No. Um, yeah. Anyway. It was, it was, it was. Anyway, really, yeah. But yeah, so who knows? So maybe that will be the little move that we need. And then Jess will probably go for Mitch because you can't recouple with Sammy. And I then. Mean, to be fair, I think personally, mate, if I was Mitch in this current situation right now. He's smiling. He has absolutely got away with that. <laughs> absolutely. Because Jess and Sammy can't recouple that up now anyway. So he hasn't really got to put in any sort of more digs towards he's Sammy. Also, he's going for Jess. Like Jess is. Basically, he's he's not going to go for this new girl because he's going to look. Even if he fancied her, he's going to look at her as no, the public like Jess. So I don't even. Like, I'm not even going to go with it. Mm. He's he's sound. I, yeah. I, like things, I sort of knew that he would wangle it somehow. Do you think? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's not so dumb. I thought he was like, going to be gone. I honestly thought. It, actually, no. He brings <sighs> he brings too much drama. He brings joking. too much drama. Oh too much controversy around him. He 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 is the snake that they need. I think he's worse than than Hugo. I knew you were gonna say Hugo. I think he's. I think he's three times worse. In fact, mate, no one's worse than Hugo, mate. No, Mitch is worse. Mitch is worse. Mitch is worse. I don't. I don't think I could be in a villa with Mitch. I don't think I could. I don't think I could. At least I, I, I don't, don't know like, how you did it. I don't know how you did it because yeah, he's quite hard. Yeah, yeah, he's quite hard to live with. To be honest, you know, in them boys' chats, yeah, I wouldn't be comfortable saying stuff. Because you, I don't know you, what he's gonna say. Yeah, you can't. You can't trust him. You can't trust him. To be fair, I trusted a few people in there, in it. But like, yeah, like there's like like I did, I, there's only so so many people you can say so much to, in it. Yeah, exactly. So like, what if you're saying, oh, like I'm chatting to this girl, and then he's gonna go tell the girl and be like, oh, da, 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 oh, yeah. So basically, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, he really doesn't like you. So I reckon you should get with me. Like, I'm sure he's <laughs> even. He must have dropped that line with the Sammy. I'm, I, th- I think he might have. I don't even know. But bro, he's crazy. When he's oh, bro. <sighs> Why am I getting riled up? I don't even know. Let's I'm just kidding. Getting... Mate, me and Toby are going to get a flight to Spain now, mate. Gonna, gonna <laughs> I just want to go in there mate. and be like, boys, don't trust him. Don't trust him. Yeah. Sammy, don't say anything to Mitch yeah. because he's just going to use yeah. it against you. That's what I mean. But bro, I, I just can't. Like, Yeah. You said your type is small, blonde. You're more drawn to that. Yeah. But out of all the bombshells that have been, who do you, and all the like OGs, if, you, if I was going to get you right now, drop you in the villa, who were you Leah. going to chat to? Leah, Leah yeah, and hundred percent. Like, like it? she, like, I, no, genuinely, I actually rate her in it. 
Is it? I actually rate her. What? I don't know. Top. I don't know how it's going to go in terms of a personality perspective, though. But we need to see more personality from Leah. We need to I see more. I feel like she does just smile quite a lot. You know why? She's not a smile, though, you still. You know why, like... though? You know why? I know girls like Leah. Go on. What are we saying? She's very good looking. Yeah. Yeah. But she uses the eye contact. She goes for the like. Yeah. Looks at you to make you crumble. That's nice though. That's good. Yeah, but that like, is good. Bro, but like, bro, you can't be there four years on like. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like but on the, the Wednesday. Villa, it's like, I need more. Like, yeah. I need more. Like, give me more chat because. Okay, cool. So she spoke to Ty. Yeah. The game she dropped was the eyes. Like, just yeah. looking. Sammy, the eyes looking, she's, and then Scott, eyes looking. Eyes so it's her, it's, it's her game. I, I feel like she, I feel like she suits Scott because obviously I don't I know Scott. I'm not throwing no shade, but I feel like he's quite like a, he's not as as, as bubbly as, as quite mm. a lot of the other ones. So I feel like them two like are right together. But yeah, I feel like for me, like like looks wise, just off the bat, it'd be Leah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like I 100. think I'm just I'm just waiting for her to open up on her personality. Yeah, I, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Jokes like <laughs> exactly. You you love jokes, so mate, what? that's what I'm saying. Like, so how is she gonna? So, but I'll even teach her. You're going to te- teach her jokes. Fair enough. Do you know what I mean? Leo, when you're out, if you're single. Mate, I've already said it on so many different podcasts and, it, and TikTok lives now. So <laughs> Just manifesting I'm sure, it. She'll, I'm sure she'll get the point at some point. <laughs> when she comes back, what's she going to get? What's she going to Oh, George fancies you, mate. <laughs> She's begging it. Thoughts on Villa connections. So in terms of like your best mates in there, who, who would you say like being in there, who have you got the most connections to? Who are you like? Who did you go to? If you was in trouble and you like had to like have a chat, who are you going to? Yeah, mate. I mean, to be fair, I'd always um so I'd actually I'd always choose um Andre to come. Oh yeah. Um and also as well, obviously like Medi as well. But even though he's not had any relationships, I actually would pull Ty as well. You know, because I feel <laughs> like he's got because he hasn't he hasn't been in any relationship, but that yeah. doesn't mean he's not good at advice though. So I feel like he's, he just says it as it is, and I feel like sometimes you need that in it. From yeah, a boy, it's like a it? brutal, brutal like, honesty. He's just brutally honest. He's like, bro, she don't like you. Like, like it's, it's, it's one of the, like he didn't actually say that, but like it's one of the ones where you need like a level head in certain yeah. situations. But sometimes you don't want to hear that as well. But like, yeah, come on, but I, like, need to, I need to pick me up. Someone give me a pick me. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so sometimes you just need a level head in the situation. Just someone just saying why go on, basically. Yeah. How about um? So you know you was like with Jess, and yeah. you're like, you seeing the days are passing by, um. What was your vibe like with her? Like you know how it, how it gets in the villa where it's like you see all these couples together. You're with your like chatting to Jess as well. You're like, oh, this is done, or you're like, oh, yeah. there might be something here. Yeah. So so basically, obviously, um, we covered up on the first day. Obviously, yeah. Maya came in that night, same night. Uh, Zach walked in. She obviously stepped forward. There was nothing there. That's a killer, by the way. How do you think about that? Yeah. So so obviously. Cal- in my head, I was thinking, right, George, it's only been, you've only known the girl four hours. Yeah. It was a public decision. It's not that deep. But it actually is still deep, though. It is, because she, she physically stepped forward. Yeah, you know it's just, I mean? it's yeah. more of an emotional thing on my side, isn't it? It's more of like an ego thing, I think. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, anyone, anyone, yeah. But, but like, yeah, like, even even just at that, I feel like it's it's literally like, all oh, right, so you don't rate me then. <laughs> Fair enough. Why I'm, why, I'm on, why I'm on Love on and like, just, <laughs> just get me off. Um, but then, but then at the same time, I thought, hang on a minute, like we, something could happen. I ain't gonna force yeah. it because she has stepped forward for me, so I'm not gonna go off and beg it now. I make myself like a twat on TV. But I'll, I'll try it then. To be fair, like we, we got on really well, but I think it's just it just fizzled as more of a friendship thing. Yeah. I think, yeah. So sure. after that fizzled, like you're sitting in the villa. What's your what, what was you thinking like? I was just thinking like there was just no one in there for me at, so the, at that you moment. Thinking, I need someone. I need like bring someone in I was chatting to everyone in it like yeah. I chat to everyone like I gave everyone like 100% like a bit of me basically but because I didn't because I couldn't physically graft like I just I wasn't really feeling it so yeah. at that point I was you thinking need something back to to really yeah, yeah. I, was, I was at that point where I thought well look at the end of the day like at this point Sammy ain't coming yeah mm. so I was thinking well look Maybe me and Jess will recouple on a friends thing again, and then hopefully a little something, a little bit of me will come in through the door. Yeah. So I was always, I never gave up hope, guys. Um, <laughs> I never gave up hope. So. How about Molly? Yeah, but the thing is, though, like, if I'm being truthfully honest, yeah, like she was the she was the person that at the time I fancied the most. Oh, more than Jess. More than Jess. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, on a personality level, I think we're I think we're quite different as well. Oh, yeah. But then also she had about four man on her, mate. So it's like well, join the battle, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like, like join the battle. It's not a fortnight thing. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to jump on the battle bus. Like, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I just think like I'm just going to be shafted at the bottom of the pile because she had a day one thing with Mitch. Yeah. Personality wise, 
her and Zach are just completely like zen, basically. Mm. So I just thought, where am I going to step in with my dad jokes, mate? Hey, you never know. Thank That's you. the thing you never know. Bro, you got to you believe in your source. Mate, I've got to believe in my source, mate. you got to believe in your source. Unfortunately, Look, mate. The Mitch and her being with Mitch, day one. Hey, they, they're, they're, not a, they're not together now. So like... It's true. It was never really... I just... Thing is, yeah, going, going on Love Island is so much different to actually watching it though, isn't it? It is. 100%. It's so much different 100%, to actually Because you're, you're with them like... You get the vibe. You know the vibe. Like you're even eating lunch with them, dinner with them. You know the vibe. Like it's weird because yeah. my my like my DMs ain't quiet in it. Like it's one of them. Like no one's DMs here are quiet, obviously. But like in there, you feel like oh right, like <laughs> <laughs> anyone rate me? Like <laughs> yeah. please. <laughs> you, you ain't you ain't you you're, you're literally no. limited to like what five girls. That's what and I'm if saying. none of the five girls like you, then. You're just a lost soul walking around. That's what I mean. Just waiting it's for something to happen. Yeah. Awkward, man. It's a, it's a, it, is a, it is a killer. It is a killer. How about like, um, did you see anyone like, like an unaired connection? You know what I mean? Like in my experience, like I used to see people chat to other people and I think, oh, like these two are looking kind of compatible together. You know what I mean? But like, they haven't really, I haven't really seen that. What like an unaired connection between like myself or 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 someone else? Yeah, everyone. So yeah, I feel like there was um there was basically uh, I was speaking with Rooch not too long ago when she yeah. left Rooch, yeah, and there was a lot of stuff that they didn't air between Andre and Rooch, like obviously before it all sort yeah. of kicked off and stuff, like with them like sort of getting to know each other mm. and it was going really well. Mm. So there was a lot of stuff between them two that actually wasn't aired, you know. Yeah. There w- we didn't see a lot of um, even Andre and Catherine either. I know. Like, I don't know why that is though, because like in there, they like they are still big personalities. I think it's just because drama. There's just so much drama going on. Like we drama, can't really even, drama like, overtakes it, innit? You know what I mean? Like we can't show you two getting to know each other when these two are fighting. You know, you know it, they've just got to pick the best of both. Yeah, I know. I, f- I think it's just a difficult. Scenario, it's unfortunate because I, f- I feel like they did actually have something quite quite good to be fair. What, Andre and Catherine. Or yeah, Andrew and Ruchi. both, <laughs> both, <laughs> both of them, mate. Both. But no, 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 like, like, especially like, especially on now, on Andre and Ruch because mm. it like it, when I was, do you in think you should have stayed with Ruchi? Yeah, man, because when yeah. I was in there, I was in the bed next to Andre, and he was obviously single because Zach chose Catherine. Mm. So Andre was obviously in a bed on his own on a couple of nights, and like Ruchi would go over and sort of. Like, I used hug to it, see that. that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, Ruch, get out, mate. Like drop in. I drop think that game. might be the reason he went. You know, like. The way that like that whole unfolded, like where he just left Rucci and went back to Catherine after Catherine, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. Thing yeah, is, it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah. it's Love Island. It's eh? Love Island, isn't it's it? It's Love like, Island. You know what I mean? Love Island makes you do mad, mad things, guys. <laughs> mad things. <laughs> oh, so your opinions, like, who do you see as the most compatible, or even a couple that you don't think has got together but could get together? You know what I mean? Like. Do you think like someone in their couple now is more compatible somewhere else? Because <sighs> these couples aren't staying together. That's what I'm saying. They're going to chop and change. Like we might see uh, Whitney ending up being with uh, Zach, for example. You know what I mean? Like we could still see that. You just never know just what's never gonna know. happen. Yeah. I feel like, do you know what? I know well, we've you've got that insider. Like, I know, we, I, I know we've literally just been talking about it, and I know obviously your, your feelings on the guy, but generally, Mitch and Jess could work. You know, do you think? Yeah, like, oh, like, like, like opinions aside, like I think they could actually. Oh, they can work. actually work. Look, the thing is, day one together, they both fancy each other. I mean, you know, regardless if that's Mitch's first choice or not, they both fancy each other. They both vibe personality wise. Yeah, they know each other. Like, I actually feel like you know, where, where it's for the right reasons or not. Mm. I don't think so, but if it's for the question, could they could them two work? I, I actually think they could because you see it like you was there and you could see them Genuinely, two how yeah, they yeah. how they actually connect face to face because it's different to on the TV, isn't it? Yeah. So they actually connect them face to face. I, I, like I, I genuinely think they could work, whether it's going to work for the right reasons. Though, I, I think I if I if if that happens, I think they would end up going far, really and truly. But then obviously you've still got Casa, and it's like, bro, <sighs> bro, like bro, yeah. It's just that is just the biggest thing. Like nothing's set until Casamore's passed. You know what I mean? Like, Once Casa's done, you're blessed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once you got past the storm of Casa, you're all right. If you make it, then you've made it. If you don't, then see you later. Peace. See you later. Um, would you say you've got any regrets on going on the show? Yeah, or... I mean, I mean, do. 
No, 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 no. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, no. So for me, I went on the show basically just wanting to just be me. Like, yeah. Just how 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 I am on the outside world. Think you've done there. that? Yeah, I definitely think I've done that. Nice. Um, I feel like I just didn't really get a massive opportunity to give a more of a different side of me, a bit more of a deeper side. But I think obviously how I was in there dropping all the silly lasagna comments <laughs> and all that. That's just what I'm like on the outside world. So I don't yeah. feel like with the time that I got, I could have physically done anything differently, mm. to be honest with you. Yeah, so you it's just literally one, um, left it all. You left everything out there. That's it. Like one of those ones. Yeah, that's too that's fair. That's saying. all you can do. That's all you can really do, isn't it? <laughs> it's hard. So man. it is where it is really and truly. If you could say a prediction... On, I know it's really tough, it's, especially how we just said uh, Go about Casa. Go on. A winning couple prediction right now. You could be the person to call it right now. Bro, If I'm telling you now, if Ty and Ella get through Casa, that, that's it, bro. You think they'll win 100%. It? Yes. Winners. Yeah. Hands down. 100%. Like, if they can obviously do Casa, <laughs> obviously, like, disclaimer, <laughs> Casa. If they can do Casa, I'm, I'm telling you now they can win it, mate, because at the end of the day... They're feeling each other at the moment. The, the the last thing that they need is just a good test. A good test, though. Are you a stander by the, are you stand by the tester? The I'm not going to say because... about all this test because <laughs> everyone's like, oh, what do you need a test? Because I used to always say it as well, test, bro. I think you need a test. Like, it's, it's part of the game. It is part I mean? of the game. Yeah. But like, I feel like, obviously, like Ty does want a test. I know like he, he wants a proper test. He wants, do you think like... Ella wants a test? Ella? Yeah. A test. Do you think she wants a test? Like, oh, she, she wants, wants a, a test. Guy to come in to I feel like um, she wants to try and compare, maybe. But I don't think that there will be anyone for her that beats Tyreek. Do you think? Do no. you think she's. I think, head she, I think she's set, mate. Yeah, like, set already. No, 100%. Day one. Yeah, 100%. You can tell it by the eyes, mate. They yeah. went to hideaway the other night. <laughs> oh, Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> us, oh, honestly. Like, but you think Ty will maybe. Do you I'm, think you'll go come back or do you think you'll just go? I, I don't know. No, I, I'm bro. I'm telling. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's obviously hard to predict, but like, I I actually think like for what they are right now, even though they are quite toxic, it's quite funny to watch. But they are quite strong. Yeah. So like, at least they're having these like these bickers now. Yeah. So like, I think these bickers are like putting boundaries in place. Like, you know what I mean? They're putting the boundaries that they need. I tell you what was making me crease. They were even bickering yesterday when they were trying to decide what couple should leave. They're bickering about each other. Crease, they were like, well, no. Like, they was like, well, I'm going with my opinion. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like, I don't know. I actually love them together, to be fair. I just hope they can beat the uh, the opponent that is Casa. Yeah, bruv. Casa is the, is, is the big, it's like the thing that's always looming there. Like, I'm, like I've spoke to a lot of people that always like go on the show and stuff and they always say the one thing they want is just to go to Casa and more. Like just, just just for the fun or like just to experience it. The experience of Casa and more, isn't it? Like, does it feel obviously it is a different villa, but like does it feel like it's like a completely new experience, like if that makes sense. Yeah, you feel like you're going to um on a lad's holiday on Love Island. Right. And that is the that's the problem because I think that's what they want you to think as well. Like, yeah, lads holiday, hey. Just with like one drink hey. a night. Hello, like, <laughs> give, me, give me a few more, please. Like, That was another thing, drinking. Yeah, the yeah. drinking. Well, you only got one drink a night. So basically, we're allowed up to two drinks a night. Yeah, we got two. Um, but obviously, it depends on how long the night is. So like sometimes if, the, I mean, when I left, it was half three in the morning. So I guess, I, I guess they mean by long night as in sometimes when the sun comes up. Mm. Um, Our longest night was 7 a.m. Well, it was light again, surely, wasn't it? No, surely it was no. You didn't get light just before light, I think. Well, that's what, yeah. And he said it was seven, yeah. Bro, because I know, yeah, like we used to have, like we, we used to go out for our morning chats. Yeah. Bro, there's no way it's the morning, bro. The sun's like <laughs> right in the middle, like it's it's baking. It's like, there's no way that this is the morning. So yeah, we must have been going to bed late, man. How did you deal with that though? Because a lot of people get really like... My sleeping pattern's still a bit messed, you know? Is it? Yeah, genuinely. I, I'm, I'm quite, an, too, I'm quite an old man. Like I, I go to bed about 11, wake up about six every morning, mate. Yeah. Yeah. But like since coming back, mate, I'm not sleeping until like one, two, like waking up till like nine and shit. It's, it's a game, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's a game now, isn't it? That's what like, I, mean. I think um, you go out for your actual nights at 10, 10 p.m., you know? Like you start yeah, the night at 10 must p.m. Be, it must be like late. Like late. Like and you got all the drama recoupling. Yeah, you're going to get home. You are drained though. Like a lot of people think that it's it's, it's easy. Like, I mean, it's obviously it's easy in the sense you're not doing anything. But like, mm. I don't know about you, but like, 
it was quite tiring like the whole day because like you got to think from the second you get up regardless you've got a challenge you know you always got that game face and you always know you're on tv and that so like you've always got to be like chatting, get ready you're getting you ready get your best version of yourself you know what i mean like that's what i'm saying like you know like <laughs> doing the ironing everyone complaining about when we can get a trim oh my god honestly. oh yeah that's another thing as well yeah the boys like, they must have got a, tr- a barber in isn't it or is I someone think zach trim? has been i think zach has been giving a little fade to people you know i've seen like ties actually looks all right but the rest but of them he's been wearing a do-rag good. like three times a night. Everyone's like, he looks like Prime 50 or something. <laughs> it's, <laughs> so so, it's too funny. Like, what? I don't know. But, but, oh, yeah. mate. That's the one thing he always said as well. Like, before going in, like you say, Tobes, like, my biggest problem is getting a trim. Like, I can't I can't go without like a week without I a trim. I don't know why that's not a thing, you know. Like, they should have a barber on standby. Like, I, I, I'm a firm believer at that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's money, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, You've got to get someone to stay out there all, the, all that time to keep trimming you. So. Bro, I think you've got to look, look your best on, like, to to get, what if a bombshell comes in bro, your trim looks bad? Exactly <laughs> what I was saying. If a bombshell walks in with a skin fade, you are done for. Personality, <laughs> exactly. even if it's a bombshell with the personality of a what's it, he's got a skin fade. He's got a skin he's fade, one. fact. He's one. Exactly, like, just he's done. Still a go. <laughs> Game. Um, okay, so, now that you're out of the villa, after Love Island, um, how, how are you coping after, like, coming home, What's the reception been like? How's your family? How's everything? Yeah, so obviously coming home has been really positive. Um, re- really good. positive for me. Like really positive in, uh, on the social side. Yep. Um, seeing all my family and stuff has been really good. All, all my friends and family what, and what that. What are they saying to you? I mean, to be fair, they were like, <laughs> to be fair, I actually thought I'd get rinsed, yeah. For like not being in there like, that long. But actually everyone was in the agreement of like, look, you, you were yourself. Yeah. And you just did what you could in the scenario. So yeah. I think that's for, for, like the people that are closest to you saying, that you did well and you know fair play to you is is, is obviously the best thing obviously like go, going out and stuff in bedford i'm not venturing out of bedford yet but like <laughs> it's all it's all been positive yeah. everyone's come up to me saying like you were funny in there you were true to yourself in there so i honestly i can't fathom anything to oh, that's fair. that's sick so how about like i always ask i have to ask i have to ask you because it's like it's it's your life go on i know you've just come out but like dms yeah like a lot of people you know sliding into dms yeah yeah after you come out, you know, your hottest thing, you know what I mean? So hot property. Hot mate. property, you know what I mean? you got to strike the iron while it's hot. Trust. You're out single as well. A lot of girls are going to be trying to chat to you and stuff. How are your DMs been? Yeah, to be fair, my DMs have actually been really busy, to be fair. Have they? Like, there's there's quite a lot of them saying, like, not even in just, like, a flirty sense, but just, like, well done in there, you were yeah. funny. Like, a lot of people saying I was funny, so respect for that. <laughs> but, like, there's quite a few that are like, I'll oh, come up to Ireland, come up come up to Scotland, yeah. when you're coming to Wales, this, that, and the other. Yeah, exactly. So I might have to do, a, a, a like, a big George tour. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just tour about, <laughs> tour about just, yeah. just drop some games. But... <laughs> drop game across the country. But, yeah, like, the DMs have been popping, though. Like, it's actually mad, though. Like, when you're in the villa, like, you're thinking, right, when I leave here when i get my phone back what sort of reception am i gonna get yeah and it's always in the back of your mind isn't it? because you, yeah you, like you're on national tv the exactly. biggest show literally the biggest show ever but like, yeah mine and bless good, DM, yeah. dms wise like <laughs> That's, insta tiktok and that what's your plans now like what 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 is what are you gonna do next yeah so i think i think really just sort of my plans next really is just to sort of keep building my social media platform yeah um i know sort of what i want to do i I mean, ideally i want to stay in a lot of like tv work yeah so like i'd like to do sort of more shows similar to love island and so almost what? continue my love story <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah to be fair it's not it's unfinished a lot it's of people unfinished. will just finish their like love story on love island like you know what i mean but now you're unfinished you come out single so like yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, open to yeah, anything. that's what I'm saying. Like, get me on first dates. You know. What oh I mean? yeah, like, you would do first yeah, dates. Yeah, get me on first dates. <laughs> but like, yeah, ideally, I want to stay in um, a lot of TV work, but but also as well, I want to work closely with a lot of like, a lot of brands. So like, especially like something like eBay. So obviously, eBay are the main sponsor for Love Island yeah. this year. Um, I actually really liked all, all of that stuff. Well, I, I never really rated eBay before. I thought it was all dead. Like, it was all items, dead. Like eBay, who shops at eBay? <laughs> but you get in there, I'm seeing Valentino and shit. Like, yeah. So, so yeah, like, I want to like sort of work with a lot of brands and stuff and just try and use my personality as best I can to help promote other brands and stuff like that, really. Mm. Get first big, big first dates has really spun me. Like, <laughs> I want to know what other shows you would go on. Um, first dates. Like, I want to do like, I mean, Celebs Go Dating is another one. Celebs Go Dating. Whatman and Celebs Go Dating. That would be hilarious. That would be good, to be fair. Um, to be fair, like, even I'd, even if it still airs, like I'm not I'm not even a Geordie, but like whack me on Geordie Shore, sure, innit? <laughs> Just get me on there. Like, I like, <laughs> You're not I, even I, a Geordie. We're slapping on there. <laughs> I like drinking. I'm all right. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you'll put on an accent it'll just go on it'll be sweet but yeah just just basically just using using my personality to the best i can really yeah. to 
um, work with other shows. So yeah. I, th- I think once I once I get good management behind me, I'll be all right. George, thank you so much for coming on Fancy Chat, man. Mate, loved it. <laughs> I enjoyed chatting to you. And guys, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Comment who you want next. Comment about what you think about the show. And we'll chat about it next time on Fancy Chat. So we'll see you later.